Yo, what's up, guys? Shut up, you want to see that? Like, heat. We went outside at home. We lost by like 30 plus points. I'm recording this video. Five minutes left in the fourth quarter. Um, the Miami Heat went outside at home. They supposed to dominate at home. We were seven and zero at home. Um, this postseason, I think, some shit like that. Seven and zero without Kyle Lowry, and now we are fifty seven and one. And we lost to Boston, who had the pieces today. They're really healthy, except for Derek White, who had a kid and who couldn't be able to play basketball today. Obviously, but his help first was a W. My book. Um. Looks like Gordon here did the same thing when he was on Boston. He missed a game to play through this child. So shout out to Derek White. Hopefully he comes back good and fine and all that. Um, yeah, what can I say about this Miami Heat team? Today we got killed. Like this game just brought back so many flashbacks from game three last round against Philly. Embiid came back. We couldn't get used to it. And we got killed. We couldn't get used to Al and Smart back. And today we got killed. Assassinated. He just went outside. Jimmy Butler did his thing today. He had 29 points. He had six rebounds, three assists, uh, one steal. And he did not play in the fourth quarter. So he had 29 through three quarters. He had a monster third quarter once again. My mate, the Miami, he have been known this postseason, I guess, to be a third quarter team. Not really a first half, first half team, more like a second half team. And all of a sudden today, we went outside. At the end of the second quarter, we were down with 25 points. And after the end of the third quarter, we were down by 25 points. We did not even make a single point dent in that lead. That is disgusting. PJ uh, Tucker got injured like in the third quarter. Did not make the rest of the game. Hopefully, he is fine. But on the bio, again, his inability to even look to be aggressive. Today, he takes six shots for six points. And, yeah. damn, we love you, but. And I'm gonna be guy you are offensively, but offensively, you don't even look to get buckets. And now, with Al Horford and Mark Smart back, we need you to go ahead and look to get buckets and not be scared. It's just not be scared because at points he looks aggressive, and at other points he looks so damn unaggressive. Max Schuster, they did not have a good game, so two for seven. And he got, I kid you not, his ankle was broken today by Mark Smart. If you're getting put on a mixtape, respectful by Marcus Smart, a three and D player, and a guy who does, that just came back from an injury, he had like almost 30 points today. He almost had a 30 point triple double on my team today in his return game. I knew they would turn it up with Big Al and Smart back, but kill us by 30 points at home. That's tough. He pitched today, 5%, did his thing. 14 points, Hella Heroes today, 5 for 11. 11 points, Deepo today, 11 points. 2 for 7 on Deepo. You gotta work on that efficiency, my man. Come on. Um. Yeah, what can I say about this team? Doug Robbins comes in for 11 minutes. 2 for 6 on layups. 0 oh, for 4 from 3. You're making $90 million for 5 years, which is an average annual value of $80 million. Come to the game. And you shoot zero for four from three. Two of them were wide open. One of them was in the corner, and the other one I think it was the garbage so I just missed. So, yeah. Miami Heat, we looked so good in the early parts of the first quarter. You don't even cause that timeout. But ever since then, like we lost all our power. Look, like, we just after that, we just went out sad. What can I say? After you Udoka's first quarter timeout, the Miami Heat went out and looked utterly depleted and i don't know what i was watching but shout out to boston hats off to them they played their ass off they killed us at home my gosh shout out to them shout out to them came up today 27 points um five assists five boards obviously we expect them to do what Tatum does obviously i hope today came back shot four for four with seven points rob will today Five points, three blocks. I still don't know why we're going after Rob Will in the paint. He's a DPY candidate. Stop going in on Rob Will at the paint. Also had one steal. Jenna Brown today actually had a good first half and a good game as a whole, honestly. 24 points, eight rebounds, three assists. And this thing, this is what Boston and Boston fans expect out of their close to all-star Jalen Brown. Should be the second duo that second guy, second fiddle to Tatum today, right there. But we did not expect Marcus Martin to come back 
and dropped 24 points, 12 assists, and 9 rebounds. Marcus Smart today almost had a 24 point triple double. And he literally, like I said, kid you not, he literally took Max Struess's ankles. Again, a 24 point damn near triple double. And he breaks Max Struess's ankles. And not even just breaks his ankles, but he also hits the shot. Like, damn! Brother went outside. My God, that nigga went out. It's sad. It's like a clip. Also, I think I saw Wapo said on Twitter. Damn, that man went outside. God, shit. Dang, damn. I will lie. Gotta get Marcus Smart as props. He's had probably his best game of the postseason so far. 24 almost triple double. That man did his thing. Um, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. So again. Uh, the heat, man. The heat, the heat, the heat. They also for Boston, for Williams City, 5 for 7, 2 for 3 for 3. 19 points from Grant Williams, who had like five game one. We got to stay on. Grant Williams, man, come on. Picture today, four for eight, 10 points. Had a really good first half and like eight points in the first, but like first quarter, he had like eight points. And after that, we didn't get too much going. We lost today by, it looks like 27 points. So, again, no Kyle Lowry. Like I was saying, no Kyle Lowry, no problem today. No Kyle Lowry, big problem. Big problem. No disrespect at all to get Vincent, did his thing, but. I don't know. I don't think we would have won with Kyle Lowry back. I'm not gonna lie. I want to give Boston the credit. They actually just went out on our home court and killed us. Like literally killed us. Obliterated us. Definitely hats off to Boston. Y'all I played us. I worked us. I rebounded us today. Oh, here's some tough shot. I was shot us today. Today we shot 30% from three. Today y'all shot 50% from three. Okay. And most of them were i mean some of them were open some of them contested obviously but i feel like most of them were open i felt like Marcus smart said they made five for 12 from three like he we're down now we're down okay the heat i won one honestly thought that barson would come out to kill us in game two not to kill us um really but just to go out and need to kill us and win the game like we honestly yeah, more to obviously go out and then we're gonna have notifications. Relax, buddy. Had, uh, they had hella um things to fight for, obviously, but it was about 25 points. Like if it was a close game, like 10 points, just shit, I would have been like, okay, it's fine, move on. Chuck it up, move to the next game. But to lose by 25 points on your home court. And I mean you obviously have to get used to having Al Horford and Marcus Smart back. I mean I feel like I, I, comfort, I can comfortably say if Marcus Smart was not playing, the Celtics might have obviously would have a lar uh, shorter lead uh, in this game against us, that's for sure. But it is what it is. Marcus Smart's back. I hope he's back. Horford did two was threes. Two was both threes, I should say. Um, Smart did his thing. JB had a good first half and good old game. Hit him again, making those tough shots, making it just tough for us as a whole. Which we bothered on the Miami Heat today. He did his thing. Stuffer got injured, sadly. They on the body needs to be more aggressive. Shoots to hit his actual shots and stop. Missing the streets, hopefully. Vincent, another good game from him. Hit some good shots for us to actually try to give us some more fake momentum, but did not happen. Hero, only 11 shots, gotta shoot more shots. Dwayne Deadman, you know, you guys know what I think about Dwayne Deadman, Oladipo. Oh, the depot, buddy. Oh, the depot. Two for eight, but nine for ten from the free throw line. God. My God, my God, my God. Other than that, yo, that is you know, go down below, drop a like, comment down below. So, I'm going to follow on Twitch, Twitter, and to the video, and I'm out.